How to wear color? First of all, not like this. Individually, each color looks great, but when you bring them all together at the same time, they just scream for attention and overwhelm each other. Trust me, you don't need to go color head to toe to look bold and stylish. In fact, you can stick with your minimalist wardrobe and inject just a few color accents. Two or three is more than enough. In this video, I'm going to show you four super easy ways to inject color into your minimalist wardrobe using the most basic items you everyone owns in their wardrobe. A white t-shirt and a pair of blue jeans. Let's get started. And before we jump in, a little disclaimer. While color wheel is a very popular tool to understand color theory, a lot of people find it difficult to memorize and especially apply it in real life. And that's where I came up with my own super simple and comprehensive method that even a child can grasp. It's a real no-brainer and I'm really happy and excited to share it with you today. Let's dive right in. Okay, let's start with the most vivid and bold color combination called temperature contrast because we use temperature as the key criteria to select colors for the combination. And that's where I want you to bring your imagination and your associations. Think of the colors associated with warmth, sun, fire, such as reds, oranges, yellows, and they're considered to be warm colors. Whereas colors associated with cold, ice, water, such as blues, greens, violets, are considered to be cool. Joining these colors together create very bold and very stylish color combination. And in fact, this is exactly the logic used behind complementary contrasts and colors. Because complementary colors are not only taking opposite positions on the color wheel, but they also are opposite in terms of temperature. Starting off with our base, white t-shirt, blue jeans, neutral and almost achromatic, exactly what we need to tone down all the vivid color combinations we're going to create today. Next, we add sky blue adidas trainers, bold yet perfectly blending with the jeans to elongate the silhouette. The opposite of blue in the color wheel is any warm hue, such as this gorgeous pastel pink, a variation of red yet more gentle and muted. Pink and blue create bold yet harmonious color combo and with a white t-shirt and jeans it doesn't overwhelm your outfit. Finish off the look with silver tone sunglasses and accessories and there you go. Vivid and bold yet elegant and sophisticated. What do you think? If you want to make the combination more bold and contrasting, go for high contrasting colors. In my case, I chose a red sweater thrown over the shoulders as a color accent. I kept the same blue shoes and back as a complement to the red, but the final combo looks totally different, even though the logic behind it is exactly the same – temperature contrast. To show you in a bit bolder and more vivid temperature contrast, I went for yellow blazer, which is one of the biggest color trends of spring-summer 2024. Warm yellow matches perfectly with the cool blue of the jeans and trainers, and when layered with white, it looks more sophisticated and soft. Again, two opposite temperature colors come together in a bold and harmonious combo, creating a very easy casual outfit formula. And as much as I love to talk about colors, you can't underestimate the importance of fit, silhouette and proportions when it comes to creating this bold, stylish, put-together look. And if you're new to my channel and still struggle to understand which fits suit your height and body shape, I've got a little surprise. I have created an in-depth, illustrated, personal guide tailored to your height and figure that you can get absolutely for free by going to the link under this video, answering just a few questions about your height and body shape, and you'll get it immediately directly to your mailbox. It's a very practical guide packed with very practical professional styling tips to enhance your silhouette, to find the key winning silhouettes for different categories for your high end figure. And I have also thrown some outfit ideas for different occasions, again, tailored to your high end figure. So please don't forget to go to the link, answer just a few questions, get the guide and start using it in order to create your impeccable style. I've got a question for you. Do you know what are the analogous colors? Do you know where they are standing on the color wheel? You see, the chances that you'll be able to select them and combine them in your outfits are very small, aren't they? The good news, you don't need it at all. Just close your eyes and imagine a rainbow. 
What colors do you see there? These are exact the same colors you can use to create your analogous color combination without memorizing the color wheel. It's purple and blue, blue and green, green and yellow, yellow and orange, orange and red, and the combinations are just limitless. To show you how this works in practice, I kept exact the same base and swapped the warm yellow for cool pastel lavender, which is analogous to blue, as it follows right after it on the rainbow. This creates another colorful yet more serene combo, which is exactly the effect you get with analogous color combinations. You can stick with two colors or go up to three, as the colors are analogous and transition smoothly from one to another. And you don't need to be worried about looking too bold. I added pastel pink sling bags and there you go. We've got a colorful combo with three analogous colors from the rainbow. Pastel lavender, blue and pink. And a gentle reminder, if you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to hit the button and subscribe. There is a new video every single week. And also please join me on Instagram to stay in touch and get even more outfit ideas and my professional styling hacks on a daily basis. The beauty of this method is that you can follow the rainbow color combos in both directions. If you go one color up, I'll get to green, which is next to blue. Mixing these two colors give me another gorgeous combo. Complement it with a matching color bag and neutral loafers and my new colorful outfit is ready. This is actually my favorite color combination called Blend. It's super easy, at the same time very classy and elegant and super flattering in terms of silhouette because it's elongating and slimming your figure. The idea behind it is super simple. You pick whatever color you like and break it into different shades and hues. Going from lighter to darker ones, from more saturated to more muted ones, you can even mix different temperatures of one color, cool and warm, as long as you use more than two shades in one outfit to create this depth and dimension in your color combination. To demonstrate blending colors within a single color range, I opted for a total denim look by pairing light blue jeans with a medium wash blue denim shirt. The two shades of blue create a beautiful smooth transition. For shoes I chose neutral loafers to keep the look balanced and when it comes to the back I have two options. For a minimalist approach I can add an off-white back which complements the lighter shades. Alternatively, for a more colorful touch, I can go with a light blue lotus back. This choice acts as a color accent while still blending seamlessly with the blue tones of the denim. So which option do you prefer, the off-white back or the light blue lotus back? To demonstrate a more contrasting blend combo, I added darker shades by pairing a navy blue cardigan and a black back. As you can see, the outfit becomes slicker and smarter due to the contrasting yet similar shades of blue. If you feel like you are missing some color, you can always add a colorful accent accessory to your tonal combo. Burgundy red pairs beautifully with blue, so I decided to refresh my outfit with a burgundy bag. What do you think? Adding a color accent is probably the best compromise for true minimalists who really want to stay true to their neutral minimalist color palette but just want to inject a bit of color to create this focal point and add interest to their outfits. You only need really a very small color accent to break your monochromatic neutral color combination and elevate your outfit. And this is also called sometimes quantity contrast because here you play with the proportions of the colors in your outfit, whereas you take one or two neutral colors as a base and color accent takes no more than 10% of your outfit. If you're a minimalist, you probably gravitate towards all shades of neutrals, playing with nuances and textures like this outfit here. It looks sleek and polished, but sometimes you might feel like you're missing something. And that missing element is often just a tiny color accent that can elevate your neutrals and add an interesting twist to your outfit. This accent can be as simple as colorful silk scarf, or you can use two accent accessories such as a scarf and a bag. To tie them together and add a contrasting detail, I cinch my waist with a sleek black belt. The result is total neutral outfit with small pops of color, minimalist yet full of character. And another option to introduce a color accent is to add a print to your outfit. 
In this case, I chose a Breton stripe, my favorite print for summer, complemented by a raffia basket with matching black embellishment and black fishnet belay flats. So, pop of color or a pop of print? What do you prefer? Voila, that was it for today. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and go straight away to your closet to come up with new colorful combinations and outfits. Please let me know in the comments which color combination you like the best. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.